Learning how to adjust the front derailleur is an important step for getting the most out of your rides. To get started, you'll need a screwdriver and a set of Allen wrenches. Now you'll probably need a 5mm Allen key, but a multi-tool ensures you have every size you might need. Begin by making sure the derailleur is positioned properly on your bike frame. To do this, shift the bike into the middle chainring or second gear in the front, and then look at the outer derailleur plate. The outer derailleur plate should be parallel with the big chainring. In other words, it shouldn't be twisted in towards your bike frame or hanging out where it'll get in the way of the crank. You can rotate the derailleur into the proper position by loosening the derailleur's clamp bolt very slightly and rotating it with your hand. Make sure there is a one millimeter gap between the bottom of the outer derailleur plate and the teeth of the big chainring. A small gap between the outer derailleur plate and the teeth of the chainring ensures the best shifting, but you'll want to be careful not to lower the derailleur so much that it contacts the chainring at any point in the shifting process. Once you've adjusted the height of the front derailleur, double check that it's still parallel and then tighten the clamp bolt to secure the derailleur on the frame. Next, shift your bike into the smallest chainring in the front and the largest cog in the rear. Now you can loosen the cable tension on the front derailleur by unscrewing the cable anchor bolt. Releasing the cable tension is an important step that will allow you to accurately set the lower limit on the derailleur. Go ahead and tighten or loosen the lower limit screw marked on the derailleur with an L until there's a one millimeter gap between the inner derailleur plate and the chain. Turning the screw clockwise will decrease the gap between the chain and the inner derailleur plate and turning the screw counterclockwise will increase it. After you have a one millimeter gap on the lower limit screw, you're ready to move on. At this point, screw the barrel adjuster on the shifter in all the way. Next, pull the cable through the front derailleur until the cable is taut and tighten the cable anchor bolt. From here, pedal the bike while trying to shift up into the second gear in the front. It's likely the chain won't go into the middle chainring. If that's the case, then unscrew the barrel adjuster on the shifter until the chain is able to shift into the middle chainring. Once it shifts up, shift back down. It should shift down easily, but you may have to screw in the barrel adjuster a quarter turn or so to get it to shift quickly. Once it shifts smoothly up and down between first and second gear, shift it up into the big chain ring. At this point, it should go up very easily. If it won't go, unscrew the high limit screw. Once the chain is in the big chain ring, shift into the smallest cog or highest gear in the back. With the bike in its highest possible gear ratio, you can adjust the high limit screw. You'll want to adjust the screw so there is a one millimeter gap between the outer derailleur plate and the chain. Once you've done that, you're all set. Your front derailleur should be pretty much dialed in. The bike will shift slightly differently once it's off the stand, but shifting should be all set. A few small adjustments to the barrel adjuster on the trail will get your bike shifting quickly and easily. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, be sure to hit the thumbs up to show your support or head on over to our YouTube channel to subscribe.